Hello everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to do a flip through of 100 Bold Colouring Book Simple Designs for Adults and Kids by Jade Summer. So I've got the peacock there on the uh, belongs to page. Blending practice and all that. That's what they've started putting in. But let's do the pictures. So we've got this cute little kitty. A little mermaid. jar an owl so these are really just simple pictures to do when you're not feeling like doing too much you can practice your blending and shading so perhaps if you want to learn how to do crystals you could practice on here a little teddy bear I mean for me it's just a matter of I want to color but I don't want to do anything too in depth um, I love this little giraffe the crown again, practice your metallic shading to make gold. I mean, it's just so simple. But sometimes simple is what you want. Sometimes simple is nice and easy. You could probably finish this book in a few months if you were in that sort of place. I'd probably try and do some shading there. Nice little cherry cake. A little bunny. Yeah, I like that. Little fish. Practice your backgrounds and so on. You could add things to the page. So, for instance, with the cup of tea, I might add a book because I like to have a book when I read art. Koala is cute. I haven't actually looked through this book yet. This is the first time I've only flicked it. The ice cream van. So they're very simple. I might just colour in this. I might let Jennifer colour in it if she wants to. It's just we could share this one. Um, she's okay. That's a little heart. That's it. Little, little piggy. Little boat. Toys. Books. I like unicorns. I might get my unicorn book out for colour as well. Some strawberries. Again, I think they're good for blending, shading, trying different things, trying out new pens and pencils. You know, some tiny little mandala type patterns as well, which is nice. Little horsey. Little dress. You could add arms, legs and a head and, and turn that into a person if you if you felt like it. A dolphin. Looks like my dolphin tattoo, that one. <laughs> It's another fairy, I think. <laughs> not sure what that is, but that looks like some sort of cake thing or a brush. I'm, I'm not actually sure on that one. The, the jury's out. Little mouse, cute. Pumpkin and a leaf. Cactus in a pot. Planets. A tower. I mean, you could put a person in there with their, and do Rapunzel. Or even just a person trapped in a tower. There's another one of those little mandalas. Donuts. Now that's so cute. Bees in a flower. That is cute. This little doll. A shell and a flower. So they are very, very simple pictures. But I actually do like this. I think it's a good wizard. Yeah. Easter basket for Easter, which is coming up this month. Jar of pens, That's very me. Another mandala, a drink, a fox. I'm gonna say it's a fox. It's not dog, it's a fox. Kimono, that's beautiful. Fish in a bowl, a ring. A little witch, salt and pepper shakers, a like gecko or lizard, a gift. So like I said, they're very simple. That's quite a nice little gumball machine. A rose, a little house. I keep knocking the, the tripod, I do apologise. Snail, xylophone, ha <laughs> ha, lovely. And so they're just so simple. 
they're going to be nice to just colour, whether it's with gel pens and glitter or I don't know. the lion's nice. Markers or pencils. Christmas tree! Flowers. Different ones there. We've got a burger, a dragon, an alien and a balloon. I quite like these ones with the four on the page. That's quite nice. Bit different. I like that actually. That's really good. Four different types of things. I've made a little Egyptian man there. Oh, look at the duck. That is so cute, that page. I like that. And, and that's the last one, I believe. Next is a list of all the Jane Summer books. And I think I'm going to go through here and actually uh, mark which ones I've got. I haven't got all of them, obviously, but I've got a lot of them. So there we go. That is A Hundred Bold Colouring Book by Jade Summer. I hope you enjoyed this.